During craniofacial growth, bony and dental structures maintain a dynamic interaction that leads to compensatory adaptations, influencing tooth position and the maxillomandibular relationship. These dentoalveolar modifications, closely linked to the different types of malocclusion, transversal, vertical, and sagittal, condition both the diagnosis and the orthodontic planning. In transversal malocclusions, teeth may alter their torque to compensate for bony deficiencies, as occurs in crossbites where maxillary hypoplasia may go clinically unnoticed. In vertical alterations, the patterns of mandibular rotation and their centers of rotation are analyzed, as well as their impact on the occlusal plane, the curve of SPI, and the overbite. These cases may present periodontal risks and, in situations with limited compensatory capacity, require a complementary surgical approach. Regarding sagittal malocclusions, dental responses to an anteroposterior discrepancies, Characteristic of skeletal classes two and three are explored. The inclination of the incisors and their relationship with mandibular position, labiolingual function, and facial profile harmony are studied. Certain compensations can restrict the therapeutic margin, directly influencing the treatment prognosis. The analysis of these dental adaptations allows the orthodontist to interpret radiographs with greater precision identify masked skeletal discrepancies, and design intervention strategies that are more aligned with the patient's growth pattern. Understanding the biomechanics of these compensations is key to optimizing clinical results and ensuring a comprehensive and personalized approach.